Welcome everyone. So before we jump into today's math problem, let's take a brief moment to relax and focus on our breathing and meditate for a short while. So wherever you are, sit up tall with your spine nice and long, your feet flat on the ground and your hands are on your thighs, either palms facing down or palms facing up. And you can even have your index finger touching your thumb, sort of in an okay gesture. And take a nice deep inhale through your nose. And exhale slowly also through your nose. On your next deep inhale, see if you can hear the breath in the back of your throat, sort of like a raspy Darth Vader sound. And exhale slowly also through your nose. See if you can hear that same audible breath in the back of your throat. On the next inhale, take a slow, deep breath through your nose, feeling your sternum and chest rising and your lungs filling, your abdomen filling. Relax your shoulders. Exhale slowly through your nose. Take one last deep inhale through your nose, sending the breath to any parts of your body that may be feeling a little tight or maybe feeling some tension. Hold your breath for a few seconds at the top and see how slowly you can exhale through your nose as you observe the tension and tightness releasing and creating a sense of calm and gently open your eyes. This multiple choice math problem comes from the college board. It's from section four of the SAT test, which does allow calculators. And the problem says in the XY plane, the line determined by the points 2K and K32 passes through the origin. Which of the following could be the value of K? Take a moment and see what you can do with this. It's all right if you're not sure how to approach the problem. You can even just take a guess. And in about a minute, we'll have a look at it together. Okay, so let's have a look at this. We have a line, and there are three points that lie on the line. We have 2K, K32, and the origin. And I love the origin because its coordinates are 0, 0, and that makes it easy to work with. Drawing a picture can often be a great shortcut, one that can help us 
easily see the relationship between the pieces of information. So one important piece of information is we've got the origin on the line. So let's just draw the origin there, zero, zero. And then let's work with another point, 2K. So there's two, and I don't know what the value of K is, but let's just assume that it's somewhere on the y-axis, like right about there. We don't know what its specific value is. And 2k is on the line, all right? And you'll see here how drawing is helpful, and this is gonna to be totally not to scale, right? So I've got k32 as my third point, so let's say that k is there and 32 is going to be way up here somewhere and we have our line when you have a line it has a constant slope so any pair of points is going to give you that value of the slope so the slope from the origin to the first point, that purple line segment, it's gonna have the same slope as this blue line segment, all right? And you can see here that, you know, my scale is off, I sort of, you know, the points are not plotted precisely, but this is meant to be a conceptual picture so let's take the slope of the purple line segment. From the origin, its rise is going to be k units. Rise over run is going to be k over this segment here is 2, right, from 0 to 2. So its rise over run is k over 2. Now let's look at the blue line segment. Well its rise is 32, and its run is going to be k. So the slope of that blue line segment is 32 over k. And the slope of the purple line segment and slope of the blue line segment are equal, so we have this equation. Well, now all we have to do is solve this. I can cross multiply k squared is going to equal to 2 times 32, which is 64, which means that k is equal to 8. And what do you know? Once we found that value, we immediately see that c is the right answer. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this strategy. The key is that even if you have incomplete information, and in this case, we didn't know what K is, you can draw a picture to visualize the relationship between the parts. And here it was the relationship between the purple line segment and the blue line segment, knowing that those two slopes are gonna be equal, that allowed us to create an equation and easily solve for K. If you have any questions, or if you have any suggestions or requests, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you subscribe to this channel, you can be notified of new videos as they get posted. I enjoyed working together, and I look forward to seeing you next time.